Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Logic. So today we are going to see how to develop a faculty management system using Angular and Node.js. In this series of videos, uh, we have started developing the application. So till now we have developed the front end setup, back end setup. Now we are going to create the admin login. Now before going further, so if you have any college or school projects, then uh, you can contact us on our Instagram ID. The link for that is in the description box below. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in our previous video, we have developed the Angular application. Now uh, we need some components here. So for that, we are going to uh, create the components and modules. So first, we are going to create a module called ngg module admin. So inside app folder, you can see there is a one admin module is created now uh, we have opened the app.module.ts file and we need to import that admin module here and now we'll close this file now we have to create a components there inside admin module and that is the admin component okay uh, we need to create it as a flat that means uh, inside admin we want all the four files present there so you can see there it is not inside a folder but it is inside admin folder now uh, we need to create a component there so for that nggc admin slash components slash login so login component will be created inside a components folder after that we need to create another component first we'll create a service so for that uh, we have used command nggs admin oh there is there should be c not yes not c admin service slash admin okay inside a service folder there is a admin auth and inside a component there is a login component now uh, we have op opened the uh, uh, routing module.ts file inside which we are going to define some routes so for that whenever path is empty we are going to redirect to the admin component and also it has some children's so for that we are using a children attribute there and we are we want to redirect to the login component so for that we'll use a path here login okay and uh, it should be inside a uh, curly braces path is login then the component is a login component okay now we want to declare another path here so if path is empty then redirect to the admin and path match full we format the code application is running on port 4200 we'll go inside the and we'll refresh so you can see there is a admin and inside the login also we are seeing the same screen because we have not removed the code from the app component.ts file html file now uh, we want to add some code inside admin.component.ts html file there is a app routing and inside admin module.ts file we need to import the routing module routing module okay the error is gone now i will open that app component.html file and we'll remove everything from here and we'll add router module 
sorry router outlet now you can see here the login component is redirected now we'll go inside index.html file we need bootstrap so for that we are going to use the CSS and the JS links from the bootstrap inside doc in the introduction section you will find the link for the CSS and we need to paste it inside head section of index.html and for the JS also we need to copy that link and paste it inside a uh, body section after the app root okay that's it we'll close that HTML file now we'll open the login component.html file and here we are going to write some code to display our login window so for that first we will need to create a container fluid that is a bootstrap class and we have added their margin 0 and padding 0 and also we are adding some style there that is height 100 vh and overflow hidden ok Now we are going to add some background there. It's a success. Success means uh, green color. Inside row. We have defined one column and we will declare another column there and style we are going to add height there as a 400 pixel ok we have added the MD property there that means uh, MD stands for medium screen instruments like a uh, tablet and above of that so we have added some code here okay for the email getting the email data then the password and then is there is a submit button okay now we need a forms module so before that we have added some margin there and a h4 tag to say that it is a admin login we need to add a class text success that means color is green for that text admin login and for the button also we are going to change its uh, background color to success that is green and outline means only when you hover on that button it will turn to green otherwise only outline will be the green okay so uh, this is how our admin login will looks like okay now uh, we need to add some components here so first we have added the react forms module inside admin module.ts file ok you can see it is automatically added now we will go inside our login component.ts file we will declare a variable admin login data new form data new form group sorry and inside which we are going to define two properties username new form control and the password same new form control ok uh, inside constructor we are going to inject uh, 
form builder okay and uh, in ng on in it we are going to assign some value to the admin login data so fv dot group and inside which username colon empty string then uh, validators dot email okay after that uh, password we'll use the same type that is empty string and the validators dot require and also we use property like mean length okay now here inside our uh, HTML file where for the form tag we have defined the form group admin login data and for the input tag of email we are going to assign the form control name equal to username and the for the password we are going to assign the form control name equal to password and for the button it is a disabled till admin form data dot validate dot invalid okay and uh, form form we are going to add the property and to submit admin login and we are going to call that method here inside the login component.ts file we are going to write that method admin login and we'll print the username and password on the console window and to do that we use admin login data dot value dot username similarly for the password there is a typo okay now uh, it looks good Uh, we have added the uh, error field so if uh, username is not uh, empty or uh, if username is empty or it is touched and we are going to we are not going to fill that field then uh, it will show an error similarly for the password we are going to replace that with the password so admin login data dot get password dirty so these are the some uh, inbuilt methods like uh, invalid or get dirty so you can see here this is a required field the message is printing there so whenever you add their uh, add their gmail.com it will go away similar for the password okay looks like password is not working hmm there is an error cannot find name with the password okay now uh, we have defined it here here also there is a typo okay in our password we have assigned it to the label we need to assign it to the input field okay now we'll check it again admin at the red gmail.com and then we'll type a password there but uh, login button is not activated so again there is some error so for that we need to check again so what's the error expected validators 
okay okay so uh, this validator should be inside a square brackets okay so we have added them in a square bracket now we'll test it again you can see admin at the rate gmail.com google.com sorry and uh, now we'll use password there and you can see error is gone there is a login button also coming up if we enter the list field then uh, it will again show an error so when you click on the login you can see there are username and passwords okay so that's it for the video if you have any doubts or suggestions you can contact us on our code logic handle link for that is in the description box below so thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to hear latest update from our side thank you see you in the next video till then bye bye